Each week, American History TV's Real America brings you archival films that help tell the story of the 20th century. For 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, rain or shine, these are the men who serve the city of Detroit, working together as a team for the protection of the lives and property of the people of Detroit. This is the story behind these men and the organization that produces them. Perhaps the most important part of the story is the selection of the men who are chosen to become members of the department and the methods by which they are trained. Take Joe, for example. He came, as many of the recruits do, from a small town in Michigan. He was looking for a life that would give him the feeling of being worthwhile, both to himself and to the community in which he worked. Here at police headquarters, Joe and other applicants were tested for physical fitness and mental ability. For an officer must be alert, both physically and mentally. Joe, along with other recruits, was accepted and assigned as a cadet to the police academy for six weeks or more of study and lectures on departmental rules and regulations, criminal law, rules of arrest, traffic rules, and court procedures. He learned to use all types of firearms and spent many hours in target practice. Marksmanship might someday mean saving his own life and the lives of other people. As a patrolman, Joe began to understand the real significance of police work. The steady workaday jobs, such as checking houses where occupants are on vacation and have left an open invitation to housebreakers. It was his job to prevent crime whenever possible. This is the team that protects your property and you. This is your police department.